Let's haul some books. Hello guys, welcome back to Portable Magic. My name is Trinity and welcome if you are new here. I have some books that I am pretty excited to show you guys. I have some that I have read recently. This isn't a huge haul, but I also have an author that I'm unsure of. I know that they have some things being contested in court right now, and we can talk about that in the comments if you want, but not going to get into it in the video here. But I do want to show the books off that I have purchased recently. The first of those being The Silver Blood, Silver Blood Promise by James Logan. This is The Last Legacy, book one. What do I know of this? I know that there's a heist. And you guys know by now that I love a heist. There's one word that will always grab my attention. <laughs> that and assassins. And I got tricked by an assassin book recently, but we'll, we'll get past that. It says, for fans of Scott Lynch, Nicholas Eames, and Joe Abercrombie, The Silver Blood Promise is an unmissable epic fantasy debut packed with winning banter, thrilling twists, and blockbuster action. Luke and Gardova is a card sharp, academy dropout, and thanks to a duel that ended badly, the disgraced heir to an ancient noble house. His days consist of cheap wine, rigged card games, and wondering how he might win back the life he threw away. When Lucan discovers that his estranged father has been murdered by unknown assailants, he finds fresh purpose. Deprived of his chance to make amends for his mistakes, he vows to unravel the mystery behind his father's death. His search leads him to Seraphona, fabled city of merchant princes where anything can be bought if one has the coin. Lucan only seeks the truth, but instead he finds danger and secrets in every shadow. For Seraphona, everything has a price, and the price of truth is the deadliest of all. <laughs> so... To me, that doesn't say heist, but I have heard people say that there is a heist in this, and I'm very, very excited for that aspect of it. But the rest of the book sounds great as well. Always up for thieves and assassins of any sort, and morally great characters. You, you compare characters to Joe Abercrombie's characters, I'm going to get on board. <laughs> Next, I have an arc that was kindly, kindly sent to me by the publicist. I have been eagerly awaiting it for quite some time because it is a vampire novel. Sink your fangs into the hottest new Force Proximity X Forbidden Romance set in a vampire world that will leave you craving more. The Last Raven by Helen Glenn Jones. I have talked to the publicist about this book quite a few times and they've hyped it. I've been excited for it. You guys know I love a vampire romance story and this just sounds right up my alley. It's like something I'm going to love. I might read this as early as this month, but this does come out autumn 2024. So I do have time to read it. Next from Fairy Loot, I got The God and the Gumiho by Sophie Kim. Look at the little fox, guys. I'm obsessed with the fox. This is beautiful. Uh, my friend Tessa absolutely loved this book and thinks I'm also going to love it. I really hope so because look at that coffee cup look at it there's no way i can get rid of this book i don't know a ton about it though kim honey the once terrible gumi ho known as the scarlet fox spends her days working at a cafe and trying not to let a certain customer irk her sioka a trickster god exiled from the heavens spends his days hunting demons pining for his lost home and irking a particular gumi ho <laughs> When a demon of darkness escapes the underworld and the scarlet fox emerges from hiding before quickly vanishing, Sioka is offered a chance at redemption. Kill them both and his sins will be forgiven. But Hani is prepared to do anything to prevent Sioka from bringing her to justice. Anything that is except fall in love. <laughs> so I do think this sounds really cute and I really, really love this cover. So I do hope that I like it. I do plan to get this on the TBR as soon as possible because, like I said, I, my friend Tessa said that she thought I would really like this book. And I don't think this is cozy, but I, I know it's enemies to lovers and you guys know I can't resist that trope. Okay, next are some books that I picked up on a sale. You'll see the stickers are still on them uh, while I was at Books A Million. And... You see that $7 sticker? Um, this was actually five. And I was like, okay, I found Gideon not too long ago for $5. Now there's Nona for $5. Um, I'm just going to have to read this series, aren't I, guys? I'm going to have to. And I really 
really hope I like it. I really do. But there's so many people who have told me that the story structure is not going to work for me. The fact that it meanders is going to be something that doesn't work for me. But the premise sounds so good. So I ended up buying Gideon and Nona. Um, and I really, I just, I, I hope I like it. I hope I like it. That does also mean that I need to buy Harrow if I do like it. I have this problem with buying first and third books in the series and not buying the second one. Um, but, you know, if I don't like this, hopefully I can resell it on Pango and we'll go from there. <laughs> Next, I got the third book in the Lana Harper, Harper series. They call it something online, but I haven't seen it on the books themselves. But Payback's a Witch is the first book in this series. I love these. These are cozy witchy romances. And I do tend to like cozy witchy things. <laughs> Even though they don't ever make a favorites list of mine, I do enjoy them as kind of a breath of fresh air between the more epic fantasies or the darker stuff that I'm reading. And this sounds like it's going to be great too. It says, an awkward first date leads to a sparkling romance between one of the most powerful witches in town and a magical newbie. This rom-com by Lana Harper. So that sounds up my alley. And like I said, I love the first two books in this series, so I'm excited to get to the third. All right. And the author that is under fire is Tracy Wolf. And I didn't find that out until I'd already purchased this book, but I bought Starbringer. This is not the series that is under fire. It is her... The Crave series. So that one is under fire. And so I picked this up not knowing that. It does sound good, but since I'm not going to be promoting the author until things settle or things are figured out in that situation, I'm not going to tell you what the book's about or anything, but I did end up purchasing this one. It is an adult romance. And then for my book of the month books, I have one that I'm probably going to be picking up pretty soon, one that I've read, and one that I had to purchase to get the other two, but I'm still pretty excited about it. <laughs> so Not in Love by Ali Hazelwood. Who saw this coming? Uh, we all know Ali Hazelwood is my favorite romance author. I have all of her books in the book of the month hardback form, so I wanted to get the next book in the series, obviously. Well, these are standalones, but they call them the Steminist novels. A Forbidden Secret Affair Proves That All's Fair in Love and Science. I'm not even going to read what this is about because I don't want to know. I just want to go into it blind, but I love Allie Hazelwood. I loved all of the books I've read from her. The only one I haven't read is Check and Mate, which is her YA book that she recently released this this year or last year about chess players. But I love Allie Hazelwood. We'll always buy Allie Hazelwood books and needed to own it in the same format that I own the rest of her books in. The one that I have read, <laughs> that would be Leather and Lark by Bren Weaver. Same thing with the Allie Hazelwood. I own Butcher and Blackbird in the book of the month books, so I wanted to go ahead and get Leather and Lark to match my Butcher and Blackbird copy. I've read this. It's great. I didn't like it as much as I liked Butcher and Blackbird, but I still don't think that anything's going to live up to Butcher and Blackbird. Um, but this was a four star for me, even though Butcher and Blackbird was a five. And last for my book haul, The Lost Story by Meg Schaefer. This is the one I had to buy to get the other two because this was the book of the month choice. Inspired by C.S. Lewis's The Chronicles of Narnia, this wild and wondrous novel is a fairy tale for grown-ups who still knock on the back of wardrobes just in case. <laughs> so that sounded appealing to me just the little blurb and i will give this a go whenever i can <laughs> but um i love the cover absolutely love the cover that is it for my video today like subscribe do all the fun things and i'll see you guys in my next video bye